Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee meeting for May 16th, 2022. We do have a full quorum, and I call this meeting to order. First order of business is I need a motion to approve the minutes from the last meeting. I make a motion. I second. I have a motion to approve from Laura Davidson, a second from Ms. Carol Haas. All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion passes. All right, we'll get right into it. Uh, I want to apologize to everybody for Mr. McGowan will not be with us this evening. He has some personal business going on. Uh, I guess, uh, Andrew, are you in charge? So we will start off with our touch a truck anniversary, 50th anniversary of Laverne uh, picnic. Well, I'm gonna turn this over to Miss Kathy. She's got about the first seven. Okay. I'll, I'll pick up at the dog park and the uh, flag football game. Okay. All right, so the Touch a Truck anniversary picnic is scheduled for June 11th from 11 to two at Veterans Park. Uh, we've ordered some, which I meant to bring and I didn't. We've got some little plastic hard hats and some vests for the kids to wear. So we'll hand those out as they come in. Nice. Um, and then we're giving away hot dogs, chips and waters in honor of our 50th anniversary. And we have about 10 to 12 um, vehicles slash equipment registered right now, signed up to participate. So, and we've got a few more lined up. I heard we got a really cool one lined up that goes woolly woolly. We do, we have a helicopter. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. Yes. I want to see that. I know. <laughs> As long as we have a school bus for landing. We do. I believe we're going to have two school buses. He will be so yes. excited. And I actually, last week, I told the director of his preschool, he goes to Tiny Town over here, to make sure all the mamas and daddies knew so the kids could come out. Is there any way I could get like a little flyer from you, just an email, and yeah. I'll print it out, and I will take it there yep. to make sure they all come out? I will absolutely get that to you. That, uh... In case you all run into him, just FYI, if you would thank uh, Alderman Graham Coates. Yes. He's the one that got the helicopter. I know myself, I'm working with Caterpillar. I'm still working on something. I'm also working with Peterbilt for an 18-wheeler. So, uh, you know, because kids like, you know, they like yeah. that stuff. Who doesn't? Remember yeah. driving down the interstate right. doing this? <laughs> My arm is wore out from doing that. <laughs> it's all about the kids. Yes. Any questions about this? June 11th, that's going to be from when to when, Kathy? It's from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. Just want to make sure. All right. So we will move on to uh, July 4th celebration. All right, July 4th, um, we have Phoenix Rising performing. The concert starts at 6 p.m. Uh, we've got eight food vendors signed up right now and snacks versus, we have about four snack dessert vendors and four main vendors. And then we've got the spider jump machine and the obstacle course coming back, the inflatable obstacle course. What, is that gonna be on for, July 4th? It's on July 4th. Um, it starts at 6 p.m. and it's held on the football field. And Phoenix Rising starts at 6 as well? Yes, yes. The gates open around 5, 530. And then the actual singing starts, the performance is at 6 p.m. Okay. Are we going to be able to do political tables and stuff like that? I know um, that Jason was talking about that. I did talk to Jason. And yes, there is, yeah, as long as you want to hand out um, information and so forth. He said, yes, go ahead and do that. No, he was uh, like, besides the political, we're not doing any kind of craft <laughs> vendors or anything mm -hmm. of that sort, but we'll have the food. And then I think we have one vendor that sells light up toys for the event. So, but he did say yes. Okay. What time is the fireworks going to be? Uh, immediately after dark. So around 8.30, 8.45 ish, somewhere in that time frame. It's always a big event. Mm -hmm. uh, again, everything and uh, we'll talk about it later but uh mother nature yes <laughs> i can't say that word but yeah she's she's hardcore on us okay any questions about july 4th nope. mm -hmm. and then the next one of course is one of my favorites will be starting up here pretty soon kathy farmer's market um, june 4th so 
so this year it's running June to August every so it's about 12 Saturdays runs 8 to noon and it's going to be at the City Hall complex as it was the last couple years uh, right now we have 23 vendors signed up to participate and on the website can we you tell where how much it costs for each vendor to have a little site correct it's $15 each um, time they participate we collect the fees at the farmers market okay and all the fees collected go to support the senior center and is, if they don't have goods like farmers goods like vegetables or could they have crafts they well it has to be handmade crafts so it has to be handmade homemade or homegrown or agriculture okay. products okay. so yes they can't do any sort of store-bought crafts and because of the new uh, HR uh, handbook the senior citizen center will be there this year selling their world famous banana nana 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 pudding <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> so it's always fun to go by these there's always people hanging around and you know chit chatting at the senior tent and stuff so I, I think it's a big draw and I'm looking forward to it so if somebody has like um they can take a pillow just like the material of a pillow and then they create like a camping style pillow the tooth fairy pillow and father's just day pillow handmade crafts that's that crafts. is allowed okay. yes, yes. it they, wouldn't be any different than buying the cloth and making the pillowcase right or that whatever. sounds so, pretty yeah. cool it is very yeah. cool and I just met this woman that she does so many cool, cool mm -hmm. things Okay. yeah just um tell her we have the registrations online they can check okay. out facebook or then call the office and we can get them hooked up okay great All right. hey you know me and laura met a older couple the other day in murfreesboro just him and, i guess it was him and his wife and uh, just one playing a guitar and singing and one playing a violin or a fiddle and uh <clears throat> Of course, I introduced myself, gave them a business card, and just chit-chatting with them about stuff. They said they used to play at the farmer's market here in Laverne. Does he work at the library? I do have a gentleman that works at the library with Donna. Him and his wife are going to come play at the at least the first farmer's market. Wouldn't that be fun? If I not more than I don't know where they're from, to tell you the truth. But I they know were they were playing at Puckett's. And I actually took two no, small City videos. Cafe. Oh, was it City Cafe? Yeah. And I took two small videos mm -hmm. of them, and they were amazing. Yeah, I do have a couple that's coming. And he, I know he played at the market the first year it was open when Miss Donna ran it. So it might be the same couple. Be we'll so have to go check to that hype out. up the farmer's market with uh, some music, right? Mm -hmm. And he was all different kinds. Oh. All yeah. different kinds of music. That, that gets me. Yeah. Giles and some of his friends said they would come out and square dance for us. <laughs> I've seen some of his friends on Facebook, so I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, any more questions about Farmer's Market? All right, next on the agenda is Howl at the Moon. All right, this one is on the agenda because we're going to go ahead and start registrations open. It is scheduled for August 19th this year. So before it hit Facebook, we just wanted to let y'all know that the registrations would open and the date that we have it scheduled for. Which day is that? August 19th. Oh, it's a Friday. Is when you're going to schedule it. That's, yes, that's the night of the race. And then we're working on the website right now. And then the um, company that actually times the race, they're working on their side of it. And once everything's done, We'll go ahead and put it on Facebook for registrations to open. What what time will it be? Uh, race starts at eight. Um, check in starts at five thirty. PM, right? It'll be after. Correct. Right. Yes, it's a night race. I just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the biggest thing about that, I know it's it's a little ways off, and but we'll bring it back up is when it gets close to that. Just remind people that Murfreesboro Road. Yes, and last year, because it, 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 it always, you know. Yeah, last year we did make a few posts as well, and hopefully we'll get the um, billboard. The back. flashing sign down yes. there. Yes, yeah. hopefully we'll be able to use that again and place it to re remind people that the road will be closed. Because it's so busy at on August 19th at 8 a.m.? Mm -hmm. Well, 8, 8, 8, 8 p.m. Well, oh. Yes, it's a night race. Sorry. Yeah, it's smoldering hot. Yeah. All right, any more questions about that? 
Moving on to the next one, and Kathy gave me permission, and I brought this up on Facebook and I pretty much got nothing but uh, good, positive feedback from it. So, the carnival. Oh, okay. I skipped that one. We do. We ha um, Carnival was approved. It is scheduled for August 25th through the 27th. Um, they have a list of rides. They'll have children and adult rides, and they're also offering uh, food. So they'll have their food booths there as well. So. Yeah, if you follow me on Facebook, I put on there, parents start saving your money now. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I saw that. Yes. Well, hopefully they'll come with the uh, the bracelet thing again. They are going to offer for one bracelet, like a fee of thirty bucks. Yeah, I believe he said twenty five dollars. As much as you want. That's what yeah. We need. Yes. Yeah. Not like you need seven tickets for one ride and twelve tickets for another. And it's like it gets out of the Yeah. Yeah. Do you are you setting vendors for that? We're not going to have outside vendors because they're going to offer the food, and a lot of times they have the no compete when they bring the food. So it's just strictly a carnival. There's not gonna be any other sort of event associated with it. Do you know anything about this particular carnival? Um, I, have you ever heard of Kissel Entertainment? This is Crescent City, but Kissel Entertainment is somehow they're related. And no, so, I, don't, I don't personally know anything um, about I it. I talked to a few different cities that have used both um, that were very impressed with them. I talked to one city that use Kissel, it's their 50th year for having the carnival. Mm -hmm. And so they're using Crescent this year because they were referred by Kissel. So um, supposedly it's a very reputable so carnival safe, company. Safe rides. Can safe you, rides, so yes. Recently yes. happened in the news about uh, yeah. some ride no. or something like that. Kissel does, I believe, the one at Cool Springs Mall. They do several around in this area. Mm -hmm. So um, they're the ones that recommended us to Crescent to begin with. I don't know why he was, he was too big. He was just too big. Or referred us. Yeah. <laughs> that was just, they shouldn't let him on. All right, any questions about the carnival? Yeah. And moving on to the Old Timers Festival. Okay. Seems like that thing just comes around. <laughs> it does. Man, just. Um, just last year now, that's happening. This year, uh, it is September 16th is the opening concert, which the World Turning Band, uh, Fleetwood Mac, is going to be hopefully the band that performs Friday night. It's going to be presented to BOMA oh my gosh, in the June meeting. It's, um, and first off, uh, our Grand Marshal has accepted, and it will be Rick Autry this year. So um, we felt he fit the theme in all aspects. We'll have to get him a booster chair to sit on. <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> oh. He'll be in the fire What's his truck. Name? Grand Marshal? Rick Autry. Rick Autry. He, because um, the theme is serving through history, he served in the military. He has served on various boards with the city, and he has volunteered his time with the ball leagues throughout the years. Oh. So he fit every box. So um, great, you know. We were lucky that he accepted. Um, and then Missy Garnett is scheduled to do the second concert on Saturday. Oh, They're still nice. looking for entertainment for the morning concert and the Saturday night closing concert. You said Missy Barnett? Garnett? Garnett with a G. She's really good. She's, she played at our 4th of July two years ago. I don't know if you're at that. When last time we had the band shell, she performed. So you, we have somebody for Fleetwood Mac is on the 16th. Night. That's Friday, correct. Right, and then we have a second concert, Missy Garnett, and then we have another one? We have two concerts during the actual festival during the day, oh, okay. and then we'll have a closing that Saturday night. And who's that? We haven't, we're oh, still looking. Okay. Um, we're looking for okay. some sort of R&B soul kind of. As long as we, weather permits, right? Correct. <laughs> Shh. More, correct. Yeah. I, I do have a question. More cover band. I'm sorry? Are you looking for a cover band for R&B um, or just? Yes, uh, we've reached out to a couple of the um, Prince bands and the Soul Sations, um, and we're along those lines is what we're looking for. I just kind of mentioned that a little bit. And some people were really excited about the Motown. Mm -hmm. Me too. The yeah, Motown yes. stuff. Love that. Yes, they're very popular, so we're having a hard time getting one to commit. But we are still, we're have still we, looking. Have we ever talked to a group called... Uh, uh, I, I just seen the videos. I've seen them twice. The 
my my brain just went completely blank. Rubik's. I knew you were going to say that. Rubik's, Rubik's groove. groove. Rubik's groove. Didn't didn't they play I, here? David has brought them up. I'm not. I've never seen them. I but. think we've we've looked them up on YouTube. I don't know if the, we've ever pursued them. They've uh, they play a lot. Well, they do play 80s music. They're very they're young people, very high energy. They dress up in costumes back from the 80s. Uh, they're very well known, and I don't, now they may be out of our budget because they have become, over the last four or five years, they have become very popular. <laughs> I've seen them twice, and they are definitely high energy. Okay, yeah, David has brought them up before. I just don't know if they played here before, but yeah, I can look into them as well. I do have a question. Um, do we have pictures from past events for Old Timers Day, so somewhere archived or something? Yes, I, we would have to get with Ann to find out um, where those would be located. I know that there are some on Facebook under the events. No, it would probably, it'd have to be like early 80s. What I was just asking. Um, I'm we'd, asking for we'd have to go through PR, I would think, um, because I believe the, all the pictures go through mm -hmm. that department, so I would think that they would have them somewhere. Because... Uh, for the historic board, we were talking about getting those, getting pictures and, you know, for the mm -hmm. old timers thing. But on a personal note, I like to get some pictures. My grandfather performed several times right. for okay. old timers. Festival. I'll tell you who might have some of those, uh, Donnie Fergus. Who? Uh, the guy that does the white beans and cornbread at all of the uh, old timers festivals. He's been doing it since day one. I haven't been to one since I was a kid. I usually well, avoid Well, he was probably there then expect to see you this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Would you say his name was Don? Donnie, Donnie Ferguson. Ferguson. Don Ferguson. And I would, I'd also say Miss Donna has, uh, mm -hmm. I know the Laverne collection was turned over to her, so if I check at the Laverne library, okay. you might, might have some luck there. She does have a notebook because I was able to make the sponsorship package out of some of her archived newsletters and pictures. Um, out of a notebook she gave me last year. Okay. So and it's broke down, I believe, by year. So. You have it. Maybe. Okay. All right. Any more questions about Old Timers Festival? And now we're going to turn it over and hope that uh, <laughs> we get some good news here, and because we're getting a lot of talk, I seen the sign for it. And it's the dog park. Got lots of good news. Um, we have a parking lot now. I saw that. Uh, yep. We have a parking good. lot. They're supposed to stripe it this Wednesday, weather permitting. So as of right now, it's a little sprinkled, <clears throat> but maybe we'll get that done. Um, we have concrete sidewalks out there. It's going, it's a 24 foot long sidewalk going to a 10 by 10 pad. Um, there's two water fountain stations with water to them. We still have to put the water fountains in. We've met with the fencing contractors and they're saying about four weeks to order all the fencing. So hopefully here in about a month, we'll be able to get that installed. And we've also ordered the signage. So I picked that up on Friday. We have the signs for the dog park. So it's coming together pretty Very quick, quickly very now. Very quickly. That's good. It's been a so I would say quickly now. hopefully within the next month and a half, we'll be 80 to 90% complete. And are there benches inside each of the small areas? There will be. On, there's a 10 by 10 pad. As soon as you step through, there's a double gate. Uh-huh. Yes. Like a little holding area so yeah. the dogs don't get loose. And then when you get to that 10 by 10 pad, there will be a bench. Just one on one, each side. One on each side. <clears throat> and are we in talks with the... Uh, I don't know why I can't think. I, and he's, <laughs> he's my vet. I can't even think of his name. Dr. Isaac. Dr. Isaac. Dr. Isaac. We, <laughs> he has donated um, two petway stations, and those, we have those at our shop right now. So those will, those will be installed, one on each side. Um, as far as fencing, also there's about 1,500 linear uh, foot of fencing. So the small dog side will have about 650 foot, and then the large dog side will be about 850 foot. I know a lot of people are excited about it. I get a lot of questions about it. so. Hopefully, if anybody's watching at home, you can pass the word. So, uh, all right, we're going to turn this over to uh, Andrew and uh, Giles. Giles. Mr. Giles, because he is chomping at the bits. 
about, he looks like it. about female flag football. Well, as of right now, we're, we're scheduled September 10th to host the first female flag football here in Laverne. Um, I know last time you all talked about some vendors, so we don't really have anybody scheduled yet, but of course, when we get closer to that date, we can reach out to some vendors and have them scheduled. Of course, we'll set up bleachers, um, a PA system for some music and announcing. So that'll be on our end. I don't turn it over to Giles and let him tell us what he has scheduled. Well, what I have in stone is uh, players and a tentative sponsorship from Cracker Barrel. Uh, I have players from uh, healthcare, my actual employer, I'm not gonna say their name, uh, another title company and a, um, a fraternity, sorority that has confirmed that they will be sponsoring. So I have 25 women in stone and we're still advertising. So City of Laverne, Smyrna, Murfreesboro, if you wanna play fan, uh, fantasy football, excuse me, flag football, please come out, reach out to us. We'll make it happen for you. Do you have it advertised somewhere right now? Uh, earlier, I have. I haven't advertised in about a couple of weeks, so I'm gonna start that up again. Okay. I think when it gets a little closer, because I've, I've come to learn that things get a little bit complacent, but if you just kind of put some teasers out there, all of you, talking about it a little bit, people will bring it up, and then it kind of fades away, but as it gets closer, uh, I've even got some girls that are wanting to come and dress up and be cheerleaders and stuff. They can't play, but they want to cheerlead, which I think is awesome. Now, Giles, you mentioned a sponsor. Uh, I, I like that idea, but I have to ask, because if I want to get a sponsor, what, what am I telling them the money's going for? Well, I told them uh, to pay for officials and maybe a, a uniform jersey for, for the ladies. And there's no conflict with the city with doing that? We would have to check with city administration. <laughs> yeah, because. So yeah, you, you said paying for officials? Officials okay. and uniforms. Okay. Anytime. Anytime government gets involved, man, you, you, uh, it'll blow it'll blow the top of your head off trying to get things. But I like the idea. Don't get me wrong, I do. I like the idea. So uh, you know, that's that's great. I'm excited about that. Yeah, we get enough ladies. So when you push it out on your social media, can you tag us? Definitely. Like I know we're friends, and I'm sure mm -hmm. for some reason you're friends with. I've Steve. seen, yeah, we, me and Giles, we've. Uh, <laughs> we've but that would maybe help us to get it to post. more people yeah. as well. I'll, I'll, might not be tonight, but I'll first thing oh, no. in the morning I'll get it. Out. No, it does, right, it doesn't have to be. It's you know, when just, you get to it. Just if you can just include us, and then we can help push it out. Because well. I know that uh, Felicia, Carol, Laura, they they all want to play. And Jody, oh. you know. Well, hold on now. <laughs> these, these two ladies out here probably want to play. Yes, you ladies so, want to play. So what's going to be the format of the game? Is it just going to be like a a team is going to play like, or two teams are going to play like for 15 minutes and then it's going to swap out for two it, other it, teams? Or That's not in stone yet either. Uh, oh, okay. It's been proposed more of a round robin with, with a champion. And if we have enough participation, hopefully try to make a league, a league out of this. So okay. I'm really trying to push to make this a, if you get enough thing. participants, in a round robin will definitely work. Yeah. But I'm excited about it, and we will definitely talk about it more in the next couple of months. And, yeah. But if you all just put kind of little teasers out there. So anything else about female flag football? Nope. Okay, there's one thing I want to talk about, Kathy, and I, I was going to email you all, and just I want the board members to know this because I want you to start talking about it. <clears throat> Hopefully, here in the next few days, we're going to hear about it. Uh, Juneteenth. Uh, the city approved last year as a holiday. Is that correct? Correct. Correct. So the the only thing that we didn't do, and it, it's no fault of the cities or anybody's, we didn't follow up with that because the COVID took over, and the young lady that was doing Juneteenth moved away. But I have since spoken with her and then another lady that lives here in Laverne. Uh, and they're, as we speak, they're trying to work something up and they're gonna let 
me know ASAP the date. Now, I'm assuming it's going to be on the Sunday, the 19th, I believe it is, if my memory serves me correctly. Because I think the city is closed on the 20th. Correct. Is that is that am i thinking right right. finally i'm getting something straight in my noggin (laughs) but what i would like to ask uh from parks and rec and from these board members is when when that comes if they can pull this off that we would talk about it uh one of the things that i'm going to bring up on to the uh board of mayor and aldermen is i want to get for next year it's too late now but i want to try and get something in the budget or, or an amendment to allocate some money towards that for next year. We kind of dropped the ball a little bit on this year because of a lot of things, you know. Mm-hmm. But we have got a couple of people that's interested in doing it. And uh, I attended the last Juneteenth that we had and it was very educational. <laughs> I learned a lot about uh, black heritage. Mm-hmm. So it was pretty cool. but. When, when this comes up, I just want you board members to, and, and of course, Park and Rec to kind of associate with it, you know. So, so something can possibly happen this June 19th? <clears throat> uh, yeah, and, and I say that with the utmost, I'm pretty sure, but I don't know for sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because I threw that at them. I reached out to them <laughs> a while back, and it was kind of spur of the moment. Because one of them doesn't live here, but she's hoping to move back. The other one does live here. She's running for commissioner. uh, So I'm sure she'll want to get community involvement. Uh, Not for the the political point of it, though. Mm -hmm. That's irrelevant. But because of the the significance, exactly. But when you but if y'all see me or hear me talking about that, especially on Facebook or something, just kind of understand yes. what I'm talking about. Yep. No, it's an important thing we should recognize. Yeah. 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 I kind of threw it in her lap a little bit because it had gone. You know, wasn't a lot of uh, interest. So and and I, I mean I'd like to do it, but man, I wouldn't know where to even start. So. <laughs> I'm organizing something for my work. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Or, yeah. Oh, that's great. All right. Any questions, comment, concerns, comments from the board members? All right. So, uh, the next meeting will be July the 18th of 2022. Uh, I guess we will see. So, no meeting next month? No. It's the it's the day we're closed in honor of Juneteenth. Oh, it happens to fall on that Monday. Oh, I see. Right, correct. So I guess we'll see everybody at uh, Touch a Truck. Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. July fourth mm-hmm. and Farmers Market. Mm-hmm. Uh, guys, please come out to Farmers Market on the fourth, June fourth is when it starts. Uh, Carol's usually always hanging around. I'm hanging around. Laura, just come out and hang out with us. You know, uh, it's a, it's a try to boost up the the business and the market. Uh, touch a truck should be fun. If uh, if any of you guys know uh, some people in the big truck, big machinery industry, let them know. Yes, send them our way, please. Yeah, <laughs> just give them Kathy's phone number or Sheila's. Yep. And also, Steve and I were zero for zero in finding fresh strawberries this past weekend if you have any (laughs) if you want to give us some please please look us up we went everywhere and they either didn't have them had already been picked waiting on i think the amish to to bring them so we we are needy okay and we need some strawberries, the fresh strawberries. Thank you very much. All right. With that, I call this meeting adjourned. Thank you, guys. <laughs>